Welcome back to 13 on your side mornings. Art lovers make some room in your calendars for next weekend. The Lakeshore Art Festival is returning with dozens of vendors and artists in food market, street performers and so much more. This morning we're joined by Christina from the planning team and Kat, one of the artists. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. So tell us about, you know, the festival in general. What should people be looking forward to? Yeah, so the Lakeshore Art Festival takes over downtown Muskegon. So this upcoming weekend, June 29th and 30th, we have over 280 fine art and craft vendors, um, plus food vendors, a children's alley, author's alley. It is a huge art festival um, that just takes over downtown Muskegon, and it's so much fun. There's live music, delicious food, all kinds of different arts there. Yeah, it sounds absolutely incredible, and obviously it's an annual event. So is yes. there anything new to look forward to this year? Yeah, so this year, um, every year is a different theme. This year is flower power oh, theme. That's awesome. And so we have an artist that we commissioned a piece of artwork that's going to be down at the Roundabout on Western Avenue. Um, so please go visit that art installation. And then the um, Muskegon Museum of Art will also be hosting a public art project um, for families and kids of all ages where you can make these coffee filter flowers and put them in your hair, make bracelets, all that kinds of fun things. So very cool. Yeah. It's fun for all ages too. So that's for all awesome. Ages, yes. Sounds like something for everybody. Absolutely. And Kat, you brought some of your artwork, so tell us about what you brought. Yeah, so I'm a potter and I make, uh, I wheel throw and hand build um, pieces of of art and um, I brought some of my pieces today. I like to make um, little people and make stories that go along with them and um, try to just celebrate um, women and all their complexities and just try to create something that gives people some joy and, um, you know, yeah, <laughs> and you just touched on it, but and you've been a part of this festival for a very long time, Kat. Yeah. But what kind of inspires you and your art? Um, geez, nature is a big one, mm -hmm. um, and also just um, kind of the world we live in, and trying to look at the the best parts of it and how to. Um, connect with other people and to bring some joy into people's lives. So. I love that. What yeah. goes into making stuff like this? Because I imagine it's very time consuming, it takes a long time to master. Yeah, so um, I wheel throw um, pieces and then add on to them or I also um, hand build pieces um, out of stoneware clay and then they have to dry and bisque and glaze and fire again. So it's, it's a process. <laughs> it takes a while. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it, but this is absolutely amazing. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you so much. What are you looking forward to the most for next weekend? Uh, it, it's really nice to connect with um, all the customers, all mm -hmm. the people that come to the art fair, because it's just always a, it's always a beautiful day. It's a great fair. They have so much going on. Um, the, the Greek food mm -hmm. <laughs> that I always love. <laughs> um, but there's just, it, and just seeing other artists that you see every year, too. It's just a really community feel, and, and Muskegon is such a great mm -hmm. town, and um, really supports this artist. So. Absolutely. Well, where can people go to find more information? You can go to lakeshoreartfestival.org or you can follow them on social media. Um, there you're going to find everything from um, all of the exhibitors, all of the street performers, musicians, everybody that's going to be there. So. All right, awesome. Mm -hmm. Everything you needed to know was on your screen there. Let's send it over now to Blake for a final check of your forecast.